this is Brian with Diamond Audio, and today we're going to talk about the mythical, magical monsters, the digital signal processor. I know through my years of experience, there's a lot of stigma about DSPs being hard to use or difficult to set up. A lot of people don't understand exactly how they function. So we're going to try to break it down and give you the, the basics of what they do and help you understand why we feel they are the one of the most important parts of an audio system on motorcycles. So sit back, enjoy the ride on the Diamond Deep Dive. Digital signal processors or DSPs as they're commonly referred to, these are the absolute best way to make a audio system in anything perform better. If you want to maximize performance, get the best adjustment and make everything just sonically better. DSPs are where it's at. So let's get into it. What we have here are the MSDSP66 and the MSDSP88. These are the two offerings we have for motorcycle and motorsports DSPs. These also work in everything else, but they're predominantly designed to fit in small compact spaces. As you can see, they are quite small, fit in the palm of your hand kind of thing. The MSDSP66 has six channels in, six channels out, with a 15 band parametric EQ. The MSDSP88 has eight channels in, eight channels out, with a 31 band parametric EQ. This is the user interface for our eight channel DSP. By having the majority of the controls on a single screen, it makes the user interface a little bit easier to work with and understand and make sure that you get everything taken care of without missing any steps. So let's walk through some of the controls in this screen. So here we have the connect button. This is where you connect the DSP to the software once you've plugged in the USB cable. You have the analog and Bluetooth source options and the preset settings button for saving your tunes once you've completed them. The ability to set exact numbers on crossovers is one of my favorite parts about DSP. There is no guesswork here. It is a digital signal, digital configuration. Once you put the number in, it is exactly what you set it to. This is great for dialing in your crossovers and knowing exactly where they are to protect your speakers with the ultimate accuracy. The equalizer portion of a DSP is where you can really fine tune the spectral balance of your audio system. When you use a real-time analyzer, or RTA as it's commonly known, to measure the actual analog response from your speakers and make the correct adjustments in the DSP equalizer, then you can improve performance, overall volume, and make the entire system just sound that much better. Time delay is a feature used to ensure that the sound from every speaker arrives at the listener's ears at the same time. This provides for better focus and overall sonic performance at the listener's position. The last section of the interface is the output channel control. This has your master volume, independent channel output gain control, as well as your phase inversion of zero or 180. You can also link channels together here and make some fine-tuned global adjustments if need be. This is the in-out configuration screen that is available from the file drop-down in the top left corner of the display. With this zoomed in, you can clearly see the input and output channel options, so you can easily select which channels of input control your output channels. So DSPs, as you can see, have a lot of features that will help you improve the performance and sound quality of any audio system. As we progress through this series, you'll see some tooling that we show that will help you make a DSP perform at its best. By using the tooling and understanding how it all works, this is how you make the DSP do what it needs to do. We will also be adding 
to our support page on diamondaudio.com to give you guys some downloadable content, tuning packs so you have the right test tones and things like that for using those with your tools to set up your DSP and your amplifiers to tune them correctly. We're also working on adding some downloadable tunes that are already set up for motorcycles with gear that can be put together and then you use that with one of our tunes to optimize performance. Once again, I want to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for the notifications when new videos are uploaded. We'll see you guys again soon on the Diamond Deep Dive.